bleed black and gold bust forever you already know man it's your boy you know t green and i'm back with another one man this could be big with sean lewis out as obviously officer coordinator analyst whatever his last position may have been we already know he down at san diego state who is going to replace him now we have pat schumer don't get me wrong he called some some decent plays but is he our ultimate guy that we gonna have in position for the 2024 season i don't know you know what i mean because we didn't really get that run game going or the pass game going underneath Pat Schumer. I mean, there was some plays, but don't get me wrong. It wasn't, this is just my opinion. I think Sean Lewis did call a better offense for whatever reason. I just think that um, what messed Sean Lewis up was the blocking of the offensive line. I think we should have had a tight end in the game instead of going four wide. We should have went with three wide receivers in the tight end or a tight end and a running back just to chip block. But that's just my opinion. I think if we would have did those things, the run game would have opened up a little bit more. Okay. Now we could run the ball, suck those linebackers in. Then all of a sudden the pass game is wide open with Jimmy Horn, Xavier Weavers, Travis Hunter, and countless other receivers, other dogs that we got. Arr, 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 arr. But who is going to replace Sean Lewis or Pat Schumer? And yes, y'all, this may be coming all together perfectly. Byron Leftwich. Hmm. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Offensive coordinator from the 2019 to 22 season worked very closely with Tom Brady. He was also a quarterback, so he understand the lingo. He understand what it needs to be in that position. What you need to be, have around you to make sure that you well protected and have time to throw the ball. Think about it. He did this for Tom Brady. We already know Tom Brady wasn't that type of quarterback that's going to run outside the pocket and put on the juke move. So there had to be protection. He knew what type of format was needed to protect Tom Brady, right? So the same thing he could do for Shadur. Now, Leftwich, he's 43 years old, real young. So he could come in this thing and be here for some years. We don't have to worry about all that. You know, hey, I'm only here for a year or two. And even if the age don't matter, the fact that he has what it takes. And if you ask me, all jokes aside, this on a whole different topic. There is no reason why Brian Leftwich shouldn't be a head coach in the NFL. But we're going to talk about that on a whole different day because, man, we could get real deep on that. Um, now, the other candidates is Dan Hogerson. You know, he's the head coach out at Houston. Um, you know, that could work. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I think I like Brian a little bit better. But that again, that just my uh, opinion. Also, um, hey, who knows? Brent Bartolone could get moved up. Now, he's already our wide receiver coach out at Colorado. So, it could make sense. You know what I mean? And not only that, he was the offensive coordinator. Let's not forget, y'all, during Jackson State 2022 season out there with Dion. So, he's familiar with Shadur and Travis. And, hey, this could be a nice little, you know, safety piece if we had to. Because, I don't know. Pat Schumer was cool. Don't get me wrong, but I... I don't know. I, I I really don't know that. We'll have to see. But Brett could get that job. And then we have um Brandon Marion here. He's currently the offensive coordinator and the quarterbacks coach out in UNLV. But who knows? We could have him come over. And, hey, he was interested in the job. You know what I mean? So, hey, that was in December of 2021, if I'm not mistaken. So that could work, too, as well. I just don't know. But I, I think. And this is just me thinking. Dion is gonna bring in some dog 
dogs, some dog coaches, some dog officer coordinator. And the only person I could really see fit in that mold is Byron Leftwich. And if Byron don't get the job, this is just me speaking, I think Brett should. Why? Because he's familiar with Shadur, he's familiar with Travis, and he know what type of operation Dion want to run. Why? Because he was running it at Jackson State. So it only makes sense. I don't think Dion is going to go too far left field here. You kind of want your offensive coordinator to be somebody you know and somebody who you trust, first of all. You know what I mean? Let alone your son is the quarterback. So, with that being said, we cannot have what we had this year with the line not blocking. Then that could go down to coaching. Even though the office of uh, line coach um, Bill uh, Obal was a decent, decent dude and a, a knowledgeable dude, it's a lot of techniques that these linemen was not using. They was not using their hand, hands. They was not using their lower body strength, staying low on the guy. That's why the run game couldn't uh, be perfected. We was playing too high, and this coming from somebody like myself who played on the offensive line. The first thing they teach you. Is to get low And don't get me wrong We saw plenty of videos Where they was doing Different You know what I'm saying Drills And coaches was preaching to them To stay low And, and, and come at that guy At a nice angle So you could get The best momentum And use your strength To your best abilities But at the end of the day That just didn't happen So If you ask me Get a job to Byron Or get a job to Brett you know, unless you got something in your pocket we don't know, and you already know Dion stay with some tricks. So, I mean, not tricks like that type of tricks <laughs> before y'all get it twisted. But hey, I trust in uh, uh, Dion, and I know Coach Prime gonna get this thing together, man. Y'all already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm gonna be right back with another one.